Can you send in the next applicant, please? Hello, sir. Hello. Vivian, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's have a seat. Have you ever had to interview someone for a job? Well, today's podcast is all about asking questions in a polite way to find out the information you want to know. We're going to learn how to use phrases like, what do you consider, may I ask, and could you tell me... So, you're interested in the position as uh, running the uh, volunteer program for the Olympics? Yes, that's right. Okay, is this uh, your resume? Yes, please. See? Thank you. Vivian, good, good. Now, you're going to watch a movie. Well, we were interested in your application for the position of project manager. Well, I'm very excited about the position. Well, I can see from your resume that you have a lot of work experience. Yes, I've had many job responsibilities. What do you consider your greatest strength? I'm very reliable. And I always try to do my work on time. I see. Very good. May I ask you what your greatest weakness is? I have difficulty saying no, so I often work overtime. Sometimes I even forget what my company's normal working hours are. Very impressive. May I ask you why you'd like to work for this company? Your organization is very successful and known throughout the world. So you hope to have an international career? Yes, I've studied abroad before, but haven't worked for an international company yet. Well, we may be able to give you that chance. As soon as we review all of our candidates, we will let you know our decision. Thank you. I look forward to hearing from you. Um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, what you did, you've done in the past? Yes. I've actually been volunteering for 15 years. I started volunteering when I was 13 years old. I volunteered in the art camp, band camp, sports camp, science camp. Well, it sounds like Sam has done quite well. Can you remember Alison's first question? Let's watch it again. What do you consider your greatest strength? What do you consider your greatest strength? Alison uses the words, what do you consider, to make the question more polite. This is more polite than, what is your greatest strength? Let's see some more examples. Sports camp, science camp, everything. You name it, volunteering, I've done it. Oh, you sure like to work for free? Yes. Um, so... I aim to please, I like to help. Good. What do you consider most important in your career? What do you consider your greatest achievement? Let's look at another polite question form. Here's Alison again. I see, very good. May I ask you what your greatest weakness is? May I ask you what your greatest weakness is? Alison uses the words, may I ask you, to make the question more polite. In a long question like this, the word order changes. Is comes at the end. May I ask you what your greatest weakness is? This is a polite way of saying, what is your greatest weakness? Look at these examples. May I ask you what your sales average is? May I ask you what your greatest achievement is? Another polite form, similar to may I ask you, is could you tell me? Could you tell me what job you are doing? Could you tell me what salary you would like? Can I ask you a few questions? So, um, may I ask you what you consider to be your greatest strength? Well, I think that, you know, I'm really good at working with people. Like I said, I've been volunteering for 15 years. I'm really dedicated to my job. I like to help. I'm always there to volunteer my services. I like to coordinate things, organize things. You name it, I do it. That's great. Okay. Uh, may I also ask what you consider to be your greatest weakness? Uh, it might be that I volunteer too much. Good work. Now let's try a short quiz. Use the words on the screen to make a polite question. May I ask if you are married? Now let's try another question with the words on the screen. What do you consider to be the best thing about your job? Try making a polite question here. Could you tell me about your last job? Try this one. Remember, with a long sentence, the word order changes and is comes at the end. May I ask you what your greatest achievement is? Um, may I ask you why you're interested in this position? 
because this is the grand slam of all volunteering events, and I want to be part of it. I understand. Well done. That was great. Now you know how to ask polite questions. We've talked about how to use what do you consider what do you consider to be your greatest achievement? May I ask May I ask what your sales average is? And could you tell me Could you tell me what salary you expect? Bye for now and see you again soon. Uh, may I ask you one more thing? Uh, can you tell me what you consider to be your greatest achievement? Thought you were never going to ask. Well, my greatest achievement, I think, is back when I was 18 years old and I got the entire art camp to create clay pots. Clay pots? Yes. That may come in handy in this job. Yes. Okay, thank you, Vivian, for coming in. Um, thank you, sir. Yeah. Look forward to hearing back from you.